Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Moonshot Defense 5 Steam. In case you can't tell by the slight frustration in my voice, I am now on my third attempt on this level. Uh, the first time I was using Monkey Aces and I died on round 49. And then the second time I was using Buccaneers and Snipers and Engineers. And I only got to round 54, which is not that great. Uh, better than the 49, obviously, with the, uh, with the Monkey Aces, but... I'm having a little bit of difficulty on this track, um, and specifically, probably, uh, the hard mode difficulty, uh, which normally the hard mode difficulty does not seem very difficult to me because all it's doing is slightly increasing the speed of the balloons as well as uh, making everything cost a little bit more, um, as well as starting off with less lives, but in general those things shouldn't really bother me that much uh, if, you have a, if I have a good enough defense, uh, but obviously I did not have good enough defense, which is kind of the issue here. Um, however, the last time I did this, I put the Buccaneer in that little lake down by the side there where it normally has water. Uh, but now I'm using Portable Lake because Portable Lake is so good. It allows you to use water towers when you're not supposed to be able to use water towers. That's really nice. It's really helpful. Because the water towers are really good. They're not very expensive and they've got a lot of popping power. Um, however, this time I'm not going to be using a sub because I used one Buccaneer and one sub. Now I'm going to be using two Buccaneers because they're great, pretty much. Um, uh, I'm not sure what other towers I want to use. I, for whatever reason, I kind of want to use Dart Monkeys, but Dart Monkeys are not going to be a good idea. Unless I do something special with them, but uh, I don't think it will be because um, they don't have the specialty building. So that's kind of why. Never mind. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be using... What was I going to use? I'm going to use a lot of Moab Maulers. Am I? Is that what I'm going to do? I think I am going to use a lot of Moab Maulers, uh, because my issue generally tends to be that I don't have enough Moab defense. However, it is also that I don't have general balloon popping defense uh, in this level. Like, this this one has been giving me trouble just because of general balloon poppage. Um, let's see. Uh, what else could I do? Uh, if I lose on this one, I'm just going to go like full boomerang thrower and just destroy everything like I usually want to do. Uh, but come on, almost there to the destroyer. Almost. Almost. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, really? Really? Meh. Oh, well, fine. Um, going to go with another destroyer because destroyer is great. Um, specifically because of the specialty building, which allows them to pop lead and camo balloons right from the start. It was very, very helpful. Uh, I kind of want to use wizards just to get the knockback, but it's not going to be that useful. Uh, longer cannons. There we go. Longer or larger? I think it's longer cannons, which doesn't exactly make sense. I don't think the length of the cannon is what determines its um, range. I think it's probably the size of the cannon, considering it has to have the... Uh, the room for the gunpowder to blast it farther away. But anyways, um, just gonna save up for another destroyer, which shouldn't take too long. And then I'm just gonna go for a bunch of Moab Maulers, because in general, Moab Maulers are pretty good defenses in general, because they have uh, the AoE damage and pretty good attack speed um, and relatively decent range. So, I mean, all in all, they're pretty good towers. And I'll probably also supplement them with some cluster bombs to help with more general poppage, as well as balloon impact, the uh, upgrade to the cluster bombs, that will uh, help out even more. Just gonna place that one there, and I'm gonna get a uh, Moab Mauler first, before I, um, before I focus on uh, upgrading the left side for the extra range, because uh, I really want that times 10 damage to the Moab, um, before I work on just general balloon poppage, because the destroyers are very good with general balloon poppage. They're obviously not the best, um, and, I mean, I guess they're not, um, they're, it's not that they are obviously the best, it's just that they, I, I, never mind. Whatever, uh, whatever I was saying. Um, let's go with frags, and then, still got nine more rounds until the Moab appears, so I should be pretty good. Especially because I have big balloon sabotage, so the blimps should not be that big of an issue. Um, I mean, I don't remember exactly what percentage, and of course I go with the thing that wasn't what I wanted because of just impulse and just like, oh, I can afford this, I'm going to buy it. It's really a terrible way to shop, um, because you can afford a lot when you think like that, but, um, let's see, almost, uh, 70, there we go. Uh, and then frags. Alright, uh, still a few more rounds. Nah, 
Still a few more rounds till uh, the Moab. So let's see, I'll place that right there. Missile launcher. And anti Moab, extra range. Frags, which also increase. I was gonna say actually, but also increases the range by a little bit. Just a tiny little bit, but it's helpful. Kind of, sometimes. Okay, come on, just, there we go. Although sometimes I wonder if they increase the range only to show how much more range the frag gives off of the uh, explosion, and not specifically that the missile will shoot that much farther or something like that. Anyways, with four uh, Moab Maulers, that should be pretty good. So then I'll start working on um, cluster bombs. Uh, and then I'll get the, whatchamacallit, the balloon impact later. So if I start saving up for the balloon impact first, then I'm going to be here forever because they're... They're not that expensive. I mean, it's only 4,000, but, um, but it can get pretty expensive if you're not careful. Let's see, this is probably around 45. That's why it's just a bunch of pinks. Uh, let's see, frags. A bunch of lead at the end, and then boom, there you go. Cluster bombs. Clusters are good. Um, I should probably just give one of these crow's nest. Eh, I don't know. Oh, no, that's right. Have I been setting them to strongest? I have not. Uh, the clusters can stay at first. Set your strongest, set your strongest. Although these can actually be set to close, because then that'll help them a little bit more. Sort of. There we go. Closest. And then this one. A little more. There we go. Alright. So now... What else? What else can I place? Can I place an ice tower right here? I can! Interesting. I can place it right there, too. Let's see. I'm gonna go for ice shards. Because I really don't do that very often. Um, but now I feel like it. I feel like going for ice shards. This one, that one. Um, I don't know exactly how well it's going to do, but uh, I think it's worth a try. The ice shards might help out with the uh, with the Moab poppage as well, in terms of um, if there's any frozen balloons around the Moab, and then it gets popped, so then it releases the shards into the uh, into the Moab. That could be useful. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Don't know exactly why I repeated that three times. For some reason, it just reminded me that we are here, we are here, we are here, which is also a reference that is completely, uh, uh, what's the term, uh, irrelevant. Although, if you know that reference, good for you. Alright, there we go. That really takes care of the Moab, Moabs quite quickly. Nice shards. Um, I think this is actually going to work. I feel like I might be spamming a little bit too much on the ice, considering the balloons have to go all the way around anyways, but... You know how I am with my uh, with my spam <laughs> and my uh, tendency to make things even, relatively. I can't get it completely even. At least I don't want to spend the amount of time that it would take to get it completely even. But I'll try, kind of. <sighs> God, that's fine. Yeah. Let's see. Do both of these have crow's nest? No, but might as well because it's. Not that expensive of an upgrade. Alright, let's see. Should fit. There we go. Um, yeah. I mean, I probably could have afforded a balloon impact or two. Well, I definitely could have afforded a balloon impact or two. Probably all four if I had uh, saved up for it and not bought the ice towers. But I think the ice towers are helping. I can't be entirely sure because I can't see that fast. Even if, even if I put it on slow mo, it shouldn't be that big a deal. But, um, okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, so round 63. Oh, that's right. The ceramic clumps. Um, the ice towers should be pretty good on that. Plus the cluster bomb. So that should overall be really good. Um, go. Okay. So about less than a thousand. About five to seven hundred left with this last ice shard. There we go. Alright, and now I'm just going to save up for the balloon impact, because I think that's all I need. I mean, four Moab ballers really are not the best anti-Moab defense, but 
in addition to the cluster bombs and the destroyers. I think it's probably pretty good. Um, so yeah, I probably could just focus on the balloon impact, which will help out a little bit more with normal type balloons and not really with the Moabs, because I don't think the balloon impact affects Moabs. But oh well. That's fine. And then I would be interested in getting the destroyers upgraded into the aircraft carriers, but I don't think that's really going to be that useful uh, at this stage. Plus, it's going to be really expensive, so I don't think it'll be worth the amount of money that I'm putting into it. Let's see. It's really going to be a long wait, because that's a lot of money that I have to accumulate. And I really hope those four Moab Mullers are enough to pop round 84. I mean, it's doing well enough all right, right now. Um, and I know I don't have to build everything inside the circle. I can build outside. I can build asymmetrically, but that just doesn't compute in my mind. <laughs> it just does not feel like an option, even though I already mentally know it is. Intellectually know it is, if you will. Let's see. It'd be nice if there's a tower that let me build on top of a track. Like, just a tiny bridge or something. That'd be kind of cool. But no, they don't want us to do that. I don't know. Maybe they are thinking about it, but they can't think of a good way to do it. I don't work at Ninja Kiwi. Which would be cool. It would be cool to work at Ninja Kiwi, but I don't really know how I could contribute. Aside from just playing their game. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could technically be like a beta tester or something, but... Meh. They wouldn't hire me just for that. But again, I mean, if anyone from Ninja Kiwi is listening, which I say quite a few times in my entire series, which now that I say that, I realize that there's so many episodes that uh, saying that I say it quite a few times doesn't actually mean that much in comparison to how many episodes I have. But anyways, uh, if any of you know anyone at Ninja Kiwi that could potentially give me a job as some sort of tester person, because I don't live anywhere near the Ninja Kiwi headquarters, I don't think, because I think they're in like New Zealand or something. Could be completely wrong about that, but I feel like they're in New Zealand. Uh, and I'm in America, so very far. Uh, and I would not be able to relocate there unless they were willing to pay me enough and all that, so I don't know. Long story short, uh, I'm very unlikely that I'll get a job at Ninja Kiwi, but if I ever did, that'd be cool. Wow, that actually got rid of that pretty quickly, so that's cool. Um, but let's see. Um, I mean, I could throw down some snipers. That could be useful. Or just some more Moab Maulers. Or a super monkey. Or something. I guess I will throw down some more Moab Maulers. There's lots of explosions this episode. There we go. Is that the strongest? Place it there as well. Strongest. And I'm not really sure if I have enough money for that. But I might as well place more down anyways. Right there. There we go. Strongest. Uh, so round 78. I do not remember very much about round 78. And apparently round 79 is just a bunch of rainbow regrow wounds. And BFP. Possibly two. Yep, two. Four more. Yes, third one. Third one indeed. And oh, look, a fourth one. A fourth BFP. And oh, look, it's a fifth one. They just... Just love this. Oh, six! Six BFBs on round 7. Eight! No, seven! <laughs> seven BFBs! Maybe I counted wrong. Maybe there is eight, but I don't know. And oh, yeah, that's a lot of money that I got from that. So let's throw in the Moab Maulers, which are much more helpful than I was expecting them to be. Especially in mass like this. Alright, round 81. Getting closer to the dreaded round 84. And the much less dreaded round 85. Because the ZOMG really is not as bad as uh, round 84. Or even like that 7 BFB round. There we go. Love Mollows, it's range, frag, blah blah blah. And oh, look, that's it. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could place more towers, but at this point, I really am feeling confident. And I'm just kind of hoping that's not overconfidence. Because that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. If it was overconfidence. Let's see, how much money does this cost? 15,000? Can you just imagine how much money I would get back if I used the monkey village and just did the monkey tycoon trick? It'd be amazing. 
It'd be a lot of money. Probably enough to afford one of the aircraft carriers. Probably not both, though. And no look, round 84. Look at how quickly it crumbles beneath my Moab maulers. And... Yay, aircraft carrier! For more popping power. And my computer can actually handle it. <laughs> Yay! And look at you, ZOMG. You pose no threat. No threat whatsoever. Wahaha. <laughs> Country Road Olympian. Nice. Only took three tries. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.